Bro, I'm gonna play that fifty song, uh fifty cent how to rob. That's literally us, man. They're <laughs> robbing the entire industry, man. I oh and, and then I gotta rape. Oh, I'm, it's good that I'm annoyed because I'm gonna fucking rape. <laughs> Before I was like, man, I don't care. Yeah, we're, we're, we're <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 no. We're we're not raping anyone. That's figuratively speaking. It, it, we're we're gonna grape. Let me mute this. We mute you, mute. I'm gonna tie to the radiator and grape you. <laughs> right, right, right. Exactly. Yeah. Um. What did you? Yeah. Want to, you want to start with? Uh, but if you only if you consent and and you can rape the willing, <laughs> uh, which is everyone. All right. Uh, at the right price. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right you, price. Right. You want to start right. with your screen? I'll, I'll show you. All right. Screen. All right. All right. Uh, no, what am I going to show, bro? I, my whole thing is like, you don't need a screen to make money. All right. So like, let me say, me, let me say something. All right. So I hate, like, I'm going I'm to do the graping of the tasty first. So the same way I hate correcting fucking Zoo, uh, Sue or whatever the fuck his name is, you know, the Chinese, uh, the person who retard Warren, uh, his fund. Gave six billion dollars to lose and, and another four to boot. Uh, the same way I hate correcting them because it only makes the retards better. Uh, it's not you know not doing me any favors. But like the, I saw a uh, episode of uh, Skinny with an options Matt, and they have the audacity to call it Matt. And then uh, it's uh, Jacob uh, uh, that Schultz or whatever the fuck that calls. Makes people call him doctor while he looks at the death cross. What is it? Death cross, golden cross, or whatever the fuck. And I told him that on Twitter. And then there's this fat fuck, another fucking Jew that only gets the job because of Jew, because Tom hires. Yeah. You know, that's all that matters. So, um, and Tom and whatever. And they're discussing mean reversion. Uh, right, 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 uh, right. Uh, they're discussing, let's say Zionist, Jew is rude. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah they're discussing whether uh there's mean reversion in pride right and this is the greatest favor that they've ever done to all you people that they've raped okay trade off and trade small because i own an exchange and i charge fees, fees, okay yeah. right, right 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 so brilliant and then yeah so uh tom obviously is a retard there's no there's no like need to convince people of that uh, Schultz is a fucking idiot because uh, there's no such thing as finance. There's no such thing as business economics. In an efficient market, it's math. This is statistics. That's so when they don't even realize that, <laughs> we don't even realize that they should just go kill self. Okay, in, in a video game. So then uh, we come to Mr. Jacob, the know-it-all. Uh, oh, I got perfect on my SATs. I went to University of Chicago, and all I did was fucking teach there and you know who teaches right cunts who can't do right and none of those larps make any money but then they get, have a fucking show on how do people i tell people how to make money like you don't make money bro they would say they used to say wall street is the only place where a guy in a Rolls royce is going to go listen to a guy who came to work with, in a bus uh that that's wall street right so uh, we, I was thinking we could we could play uh, that like uh, a thing is twenty minutes. We can play that two x would be ten minutes, and I literally will dissect word by word, disabuse them of every fucking dumb thought I, they had. And the only reason I'm doing this, as I explained, I don't like doing this because the only is they're gonna learn the correct thing, but I want them to end. I want the the the, the idiots who listen to them to see that they don't know anything. And many of them aren't going to change positions because they watch these retards as, as, as coping sessions. They, it's like a shelter for bat, battered women. The reason uh, Tom goes, oh, I'm constantly losing money is because the plebs in chat go, oh, if Tom can't make any money, me losing money is not a big deal because that's a pro. That's literally his function, right? And he owned, he, he owned an exchange and he sold it to two, for $2 billion to that bum fuck Europe CFD, whatever the yeah. fuck. Do you want to link the video? So, or... Yeah, I mean, yes. Either just post it in the uh, the live chat, or that have... that is that that is that that is what we are. That, exactly. Oh, that that's my own voice. What's going on? I'm like this. I'm like that bear with the mirror. I'm like this guy makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? I should listen to him. 
there's another video playing in the background. Oh, you didn't hear that. I was hearing myself, yeah. and I was going like, oh, that guy makes a lot of sense. <laughs> there's like a five-second delay. Uh, right. Yeah. I'm dead. Uh, do you want to DM me? Uh, too link? funny, man. All right, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, No, but seriously, uh, guys, exactly. this, this guy, Jacob, it's uh, bear with us here. His voice is super annoying. It's really bad. Uh, and, and, and I want to highlight that what I said two years ago was even true. Right. No one, fucking no one, does it at our level. And I used to say at least publicly, but I know for a fact that no one does it at our level. And if you know someone who does, uh, let's see them. Right? Thank you. Right. Nah, like I said, fucking the Discord is so much alpha. It's just like, you know, oh, I got the DM. Compared to anywhere you could find on the entire internet. It's just yeah, not yeah, 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 it's yeah, not yeah, close. yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me a better place. I'll go there. Ooh, right? Yeah. All right, you can play that. You can play that 2x. It's fine. Hello, everybody. We are back. Right, I'm Tom Sosnoff, like, uh, joined Muppets, by Jacob Perlman like, uh, on the lower half of your screen. Arthur, on the upper half, like, like, nah, 2x is way too quick. Go one well, I'll play it, bro. I'm and telling Dr. you, they're, so, they're saying so many dumb things. It's not like we got. I, I'm gonna. Uh, say. I'm gonna to do just, just test it out. On this network, but something that sounds like fun. We are gonna have a. We all accept that. No questions asked. I've always been a contrarian in the way I think. So from a contrarian standpoint, because I started off in this industry as a market maker, contrarians always took the other. It wasn't so much as being contrarian. It was more about being a counterparty. And so I always took the other side Ooh. of a trade. But the idea of taking the other side of a trade because you think the market's going to go in a different direction, By that's way, kind of the argument. Uh, for okay, I'm going to talk about that later. All right. The contrarian shit, just to be contrarian is just dumb. Like, obviously, you want to uh, know where retail Contrarian is. to what? Contrarian to no, what? I'm like, just saying to bro. Always be contrarian. I know, I know, I know. But it's like, but it's like, they don't even know what fucking game you're playing. Right. How could they ever win? It, they, they don't, they literally don't know. It's like, I'm going to show up at Blackjack and play uh, poker. And then I'm going to go, hey, all in. Your 21 doesn't count. The fuck are you talking about? Contrarian. I'm contrarian. <laughs> I'm with respect what? to price. We have long argued, argued oh, because, on tasty. Because, you know why? No because back in the day, the spreads were wide, and obviously you, you would put the uh, retail on a hold for 15 minutes while you would go, uh, fuck them, oh. come back and be like, I'm a great trader. <laughs> There's a reason none of these cunts have a job uh, trading because they're not even qualified to clean the floors of the uh, trading floor that you used to. Fucking sorry, scam people out of money. It's this guy, Jim, that is, has the voice that annoys me. Jacob is also annoying, though. But let's continue. Thing is mean reversion with uh, respect to price. Yeah. Jacob's done a couple pieces they, over they, the years. They should we all find... They should go all purchase rope. Right. Yes. All right. Where are, are, are you no playing it? Discussions on the network is market, measure, market measures, okay, skinnies, and option jives on mean reversion with respect to price. But yesterday, Dr. Jim oh, pulled something percent. deep, reached deep into the Oh, my eyes, God. It, it's deep the best favor they've ever... Because it... For me to go, oh, here's an evidence, here's a, 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 a exhibit A. They just came and fucking opened up their buttholes. And guess what? Their A is is dark AF. Bleach that shit, dumb cunt. Uh, Jacob's a gay guy, right? Ja Jacob's yes. a gay guy. He looks like he has the him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jacob, take your, take your bets, bro. You look like you have the him. Okay? And, and if you weren't so, you know why you're poor, Jacob? Because you're fucking dumb. One reason. Cope. Returns are mean reverting. PhD studies and decided. It, it, you know, let me, let me. This is, I hate this, that I'm going to fucking like such a thing inform him of this. With respect but I hope this will end. Is, like, you know, go trade at Tasty. The software's okay. But don't fucking think like these people know anything. Don't fucking consume their content. Uh, and they're fucking scammers. They're worse than, like, uh, uh, who's that guy? Uh, who was that guy uh, again? Uh, they're, they're worse than him. Because they lace it with math and they make it sound plausible. So you go like, oh, this asshole knows something. But they fucking don't. And they just self-reported cleanly. Yeah, I'm a Kobe, they're assholes, bro. All right, what, what am I? All right. Keep All right. Keep I, let, let's play. No, no, no. Something I don't want to talk. Something other than positive drift. I want to wait. So go. we only have about 20 minutes, boys. So I'm play. going and I want everybody to have a chance to, to give their two cents. So Jim and Anton, um, we will let you guys. Or Jim, you can start off. This was your your, your topic. I can um, play too, I guess. I got to say your case like, and let's move on. Relay sure. yeah, so give me, give me two seconds. But before we start, Tom, just a quick little offer to you. Oh my God, I have a sneaking suspicion in the next 20 minutes, they're not going to go so well for you. So I'm just letting I, you know. I can't hear it, bro. If you'd like, you playing I'll it? let you out right now for half if you just admit publicly. <laughs> Hello? I don't know. No one's saying anything in the stream. I guess. No, no, because we can't hear you. Like, they're not, you're not, we're not hearing the tasty. Hang on one sec. Okay. No? It's working. I don't know what you're talking about. 
talking about, but it's working on the stream. Other people can hear it? Can hear All right, it. hold on. Maybe I should, uh, maybe it's the dis uh, because I'm on Discord. Yeah, if you're let me, on Discord. Let me mute there. And I yeah, if you're on Discord, you're not going to hear it there. But then how are you going to talk? Oh, well, I guess, yeah, that's the problem. That price is clearly mean reverting. So your response is? I am going to take my chances, and I'll take my chances, counselor, and I will plead not guilty and take this thing all the way to the end. What a wild okay, fair enough. All right, well, so a couple of things. But thank you for the offer. There. Thank you for the yeah. offer to settle for half. Hey, I am here for you. I am absolutely here for your betterment. Don't you ever forget that. But a couple of things really quickly. Number one, I'm already, I'm already taking issue with some of the things you said in your little intro piece. You can't you can't slide positive drift in there as if that's not evidence for mean reversion. And I'll get back to that in just a couple of minutes. So you tried to do that. I'm not going to let you off the hook. I'm not going to let you off the hook at all today. And so that's the first thing I want to say. The second thing is, and Jacob said this before we went on air, I completely agree. We all have to define mean reversion. And there's you know different ways that we could do this, of course. I think the most appropriate one for this discussion is going to be what is present in the hello. spiritual literature. And so hello, hello. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to read. All right. So how much of it did you play? How long are you into it? Can you play from the beginning? Because like, okay, okay. Play, I'm going to play it a little bit more. I'm going to listen because I, I, I watched the whole thing. That's why I said I'm not it. sure. If you should right. I, I, I'm going to read. Uh, all right. Let's do, let's do. Oh, yeah. Can, I can stop it myself too. I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah. All right. Hold on one second. All right. One second. Yeah. Just um, on Discord, you could share screen. I'm like out of it. I'm so tired, man. I'm out of it. All right. Yeah. Share a screen. Um, which one is it? Uh... Oh, yeah. You didn't tell them that you rate me before stream. Right. <laughs> right. But, you, but I'm, I'm, I'm because I'm, I'm in pain, bro. I'm in pain, man. You, if any, like, if anyone's in pain, like, that literally is where irritability comes from. Like, there's underlying pain. And you go like fuck, and I mean, I should just take like an aspirin or something. I, I, it's because I was at the at the fucking uh, Target for five. I spent. Uh, I'm not even gonna say, but like, yeah. Thousand <laughs> right. at Target. Uh, I spent like five k at Target. They were like, oh, they wouldn't God. let me do it in one uh, setting. I had to do five transactions. Wow. <laughs> yeah, no, because I was like buying because I don't have like. And I was buying shit for Elisa. All right, so hold on. Uh, am I? What am I doing? Let me close these. All right. Close all the X video tabs. Right. Exactly. Okay. All right. Can you guys see it now? Can you see the fucking thing now? It's loading on my. You see them. Still. Okay. All right. Let me. Let me. Uh, but this is you. This is you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm such an idiot. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm fucking. I'm playing you. I'm playing you. I'm gonna play them. All right. Where was that shit? Oh, fucking idiot. All right. Uh, yeah. Next week will be more organized. But um, later on we're. Gonna, yeah. We're gonna talk about like intro level shit. This is just. Like, right. Right. They gotta ask us. That that's much easier for us to do. All right. Look at this motherfucker. He has the hit. All right. Okay. Do you guys see this? It's loading. Just hang on. All right. Hello, cool. everybody. We are back. I'm Tom Sasa, joined by important. Jacob Perlman on the lower half of your screen. All right. Let me. Anton Kulikov and let me. Dr. Jim Schultz. We are all over. We're coming to you virtually from different parts One of the world. Um, we don't usually do on this network. The audio. Wait, wait. The audio you can hear yeah. or is. We're good. Oh, okay. Okay. Great. Great. Let's great. Something that sounds like fun. We are going to have a yeah, yeah, yeah. Slash debate on mean reversion. And, you know, we've. To, to even have a debate about all it kind of been in agreement for uh, is a self-report that you're a fucking idiot. Quite some time that mean reversion with respect to implied volatility, we all accept that. There is no mean reversion in implied volatility. Implied volatility at bets is going to fit realized volatility, which is enough for currencies, and that is a power law distribution. Mm. Okay. It's fucking idiots don't know anything. No questions asked, I think, by all four people on this on, 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 on the screen right now. But, and a big part of Tasty's like that's their entire scam is that, right? Oh, the rank is high, bet for it to come down. Uh, the rank is low, bet for it to go up. Uh, and that's precisely because they don't understand what mean reversion is or they're insane scammers. And that's like the best scam, the, the, the best. Part of the methodology we use at Tasty is optimizing our mechanics for mean reversion with respect to- Bunch of words. Mean reversion is a mathematical concept. It's a, it's a, it's a property. That random series of um, uh, um, exhibit 
uh, from time to time. It's not, it's not you're not born mean reverting. Sometimes you're mean reverting, sometimes you're not. If the numbers say you are, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. My my both my parents were mean reverting, so I'm mean reverting. Volatility, but when it comes to price, ah, here's where the differences are. I've and like, okay, as simple as this, uh, price is always trending. You know why? Because you can fucking do an autocorrelation on price, and it will always be positive. Price is not mean reverting. You know why? Because it's because it's always in a trend, the direct opposite of a mean reversion. It, it's not even like a upward. It's like saying, oh, uh, if we breathe oxygen or like uh, I don't know, uh, I don't even know. Like it's so absurd to to like even discuss this. I've well, always been a contrarian. The thing is, is in like you said, returns are mean reverting, but implied volatility is the market. Not, not even, bro. I like me, me. Okay, so if the numbers say something is 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 uh, exhibiting mean reverting properties, then it's mean reverting. Mm -hmm. When the numbers say that it doesn't, uh, it's not. Like they, they they just talk about like things having being a certain way. Well, like it, it's like talking about the weather in the future while the weather is like the temperature is what the fucking thermos says or the thermometer says it's not what you think it's not your fuck if you don't go to school to know what to tell you it's whatever the fuck the thermostat says it's that easy in the way i think so from a contrarian standpoint because i start off in this industry as a market maker and then the reason for this is because they need to be gurus like that the whole thing is like if the, if the, if people just measure none of these motherfuckers would would have a job I always took the other it wasn't so much as being contrarian it was more about being a counterparty and so i always took the other side of a trade but the idea of taking the other side of a trade because you think the market's going to go in a different direction he, he says i took the other side of a trade he doesn't realize that that's because you're a market maker you're not a contrarian if he if, if he's buying who's selling you fucking retard of course you're taking the he says oh it's the counterpart yeah yeah idiot that that's not a I, I can't believe, and he's a billionaire. That's the greatest part. That's kind of the argument for mean reversion with respect to price. We have long argued, argued on Tasty that there is no such thing as mean reversion. Actually, what Jacob says isn't that dumb, but like, I guess for content, he lets them like act like this is a thing that is up for discussion, you know? All right, this is like my fucking internet here. I'm a, oh, I forgot. I'm on a VPN to Japan because I'm doing DJ yeah, shit. That'll, that'll okay. help the bit rate, Right. Uh, let, me, let me fucking stop that. I'm a retard. All right. All right. Hold on one second. I'm literally buying used panties from Japan, and you don't need to know about that. Okay. That's <laughs> yeah. No, 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 man. I'm, I'm doing the fucking whatever am I going to say. All right. How can I get it? All right. One second. I, I, I was telling these Apple store people. I hate these Macs, the M chip ones. They're fucking cunts, man. It, it sucks. I, I, all right, so that's me. I can see. All right, cool. There was, there was uh, some, some cope from Apple that was like, oh, our fucking 16 or, or 8 your, gigabytes. Your, of RAM your topic, to um, give us the background and make your, state your case, and let's move on. Sure. Yeah, so give me, give me two right. Before we start, Tom, one just a quick little offer to you. I have a sneaking suspicion in the next 20 minutes. They're not going to go so well for you. So I'm just letting you know right now, if you'd like, Perhaps, if you just admit publicly that price is clearly mean reverting. So, your response is? I am going to take my chances, so and I'll take my chances, counselor. Yeah, I will plead not guilty. I'm a complete read. Okay, fair enough. All right, well, so a couple of things. But thank, you the offer, thank you for the offer. Thank you for the offer to settle for half. Hey, I am here for you. I am absolutely here for your betterment. Don't you ever forget that. But a couple of things really quickly. Number one, I'm already, I'm already taking issue with some of the things you said in your little intro piece. You can't you can't slide positive drift in there as if that's not evidence for me. Okay. Uh, they keep on saying positive drift, right? So, um... Yeah, and they keep on saying, oh, 80% of things have pot. Okay, uh, on what time frame? And then uh, the difference between drift and the mean is literally nothing because it's half the uh, variance. And that literally is nothing. So it's a little bit when you scale it with time, just a tiny bit, but it's the mean. Do 80% do of things have a positive mean? Then, then why are we trading? Why aren't we not just buying shit and going to the beat? Like they say on, they keep on saying drift. And that's another like self-report that like they don't understand geometric Brownian motion is the most pleb uh, model to go by. And then they go like, well, that has drift and it's the square root of T. Like why? Why? And, they, they, and then later on, they're going to say how, 
oh, the best we can do is normal distribution. If you were in high school, in reverse, and I'll get back to that in just a couple we'll minutes. So you try to do that. that, I'm not gonna let you off the hook. I'm not gonna let you off the hook at all today. And so that's the first thing I want to say. The second thing is, and Jacob said this before we went on air. I completely agree. We all have to define mean reversion, and there's you no know, different ways. No, that's like defining gender. It's like there's trend and mean reversion. There's two things. There's there's, there's no def, you know, uh, your motherfucking feelings don't matter, bro. <laughs> we can do this, of course. I think the most appropriate one for this discussion is going to be what is present in the financial literature. And so if you go back to Fahman France, 1986, Perturbus Summers, 1988, I talked about these people. Oh, look, the finance person with words says appeal to authority, bunch of names, literature. Someone wrote something on a piece of paper, so it must be true. Right. And then again, who would write that? A fucking idiot. <laughs> this is on Monday morning in the skinny. I'm going to define mean reversion the way that they are defining mean reversion. I mean, for Turbin Summers, the paper 1988, the title of the paper is actually Mean Reversion in Stock Prices. And so essentially, mean reversion, they never come out and clearly define it, but it's implied. It's, it's the existence of winners being followed by losers and losers being followed by winners. And so in my opening statement... He, sa he, he says winners followed by losers and losers followed by winners. I don't need... I wasn't... Uh, that, yeah. Okay, so who's winning? Well, are you assuming my gender? How do you know I'm long? Or how do you know... Like, who's winning? It's not, about, it's not winning, idiot. It's like... It's just like... I can't believe how little they know and they have no problem going on fucking public, whatever, internet and like self-reporting. And I really hope, like, I'm not articulate or whatever, I'm fucking tired, but like, I wanna make points and like, I'm right. And it's like, I don't, it's not even, I, I started this as a hobby, okay? Like, it's embarrassing. They, these motherfuckers call themselves pros. And, and this cocksucker went to school for this, I did. I want to say, uh, you know, I'll, I'll I, I watched a bunch of YouTube shit. And I will agree with that because he's on my team. If he doesn't, then I guess we'll have a problem with that. But also, number two, I want to hear from the other side. Are we all in agreement that that is a fair definition of mean reversion as it applies to? And it's like, it's very simple. I don't need a thousand signatures, retards. I need one proof. This discussion in the financial markets. Uh, this, no. this site says absolutely not. That's the most idiotic. I wanted, to, That's I wanted, absolutely to, add, I wanted to add a specific mathematical definition to kind of clarify because from my perspective, I'm a little bit more um, specific. And Jim and I discussed this, so and he knows this. I think from my perspective, it boils down to. I actually hate this one the most the most. And he says, I want to add a mathematical thing because he's just going to say, he's the cocksucker who got in because he's a Jew. Uh, and he wrote and his essay, literally, bro, I'm speaking facts. Okay. Go look up the percentage of uh, admissions at the Harvard uh, and explain that to me. Uh, they never win anything where things are uh, measured. They only win things when people vote. So uh, this idiot says, I'm going to add something mathematical and then listen to what he says. We literally are now giving our Markov uh, chain for free out to people. And these cocksuckers don't even, like, just listen. It, it, like, I shouldn't even talk, just listen. If something happens today, the probability of something, the opposite happening tomorrow is slightly increased. Team, if he doesn't, then I guess we'll have a problem with that. But also, number two, I want to hear from the other side. Are we all in agreement that there's a fair definition of mean reversion as it applies to this discussion in the financial markets? Uh, uh, this site oh. says absolutely not. That's the most I idiotic. To, That's I absolutely idiotic. I wanted to add a specific mathematical definition to kind of clarify, because from my perspective, I'm a little bit more um, specific. And Jim and I discussed this, so, and he knows this. I think from my perspective, it boils down to if something happens today, the probability of something, the opposite happening tomorrow is slightly increased. That's the only, that, that's my kind of specific definition now. But how much? I think it's less during ranges and more during extremes. But the fact is, is that the probabilities of something happening tomorrow increase based on whatever happened today in the opposite direction. That's my specific, more kind of specific definition. And I do, I do hold that. Yeah. I'll Where was the math? He just said, he just said more words, probably like it, it should be so easy. Like if, if they're not coming out and say, yo, uh, I don't know. The, the kurtosis is this, the, the, the skew is this. It's, it's like, uh, I don't know. The Markov chain probability is this, uh, I guess just say what the math is. They, it's like the dog is no different. He just says math, math, math. He uses crown is no different doing entropy deviation. They're all literally the same shit, bro. Not, no, there's no one else aside from us. There literally is. I wish there was. I, I wish we weren't like, I wish some asshole was yelling at me uh, and spitting facts in my face. Uh, it would, my life would be much easier. I'll, I'll throw out the, the gym definition doesn't, doesn't work at all because, right. Imagine and again, like what Jacob says is most times accurate, but because he's like the tallest major. Right. Alternating days goes up 50%, down 50%, up 50%, down 50%, right? That's alternating going up and down, but that's not going to zero. It's not mean reverting at all. <laughs> right. Like he just pointed out these cocksucker can't even understand like geometric return. Like if something goes up 50, down 50, up 50, it's gonna go to zero. How's it mean revert? These cocksuckers can't even do percentages, but they have PhDs and they make people call them doctors. Kill self in a video game. So, so hold on, so, so you're suggesting that prices would need to go to zero? To no, be, uh, the, the example I gave, which satisfies your definition of mean reversion, and then it's alternating ups and downs, 
isn't mean reverting at all because it has a, like a significant downward drift. I will also I add that. About... Can I just add well, one okay. thing? Well, no, hold on, Tom. I have to respond. I have to respond. So now I know what all these politicians feel like when somebody. Yeah, yeah I got it. So I'm going to take your position, Jacob. And I'm going to flip it around. So negative drift is not really a thing in the market. We all know the equity markets. I mean, I want to talk about other markets. I was talking hypothetical. A hypothetical asset, not, not... You, you see how this Schultz is exactly like the, the delta between Jacob and Schultz is between like me and Doug. These cocksucker like knows nothing. Can't even do 50 up, 50 down. But he, he, he makes people call him doctor. Generalized thing, but like a specific, a specific asset that happens to go up 50%, down 50%, up 50%, down 50%, down 50%, down 50%. That thing is not universing. That thing is declining rapidly. Oh, that, that's perfectly fine. Well, I'll, actually, I'll do you one better, and let's move from the hypothetical to the actual financial equity markets that exhibit positive drift over time. That's, that's not hypothetical. And this was the point that I made on Monday. You know, volatility, mean reverting, that's historical average 16, 17, 18, got it. We're all in agreement. We don't really need to address that too much. Everybody's on the same side when it comes to that. In terms of you know comparing mean reversion, which I know you've kind of addressed this before in some of your previous pieces, I mean talking about you know pendulums and springs and baseball tosses, I think those are good examples of mean reversion. Bottom line is these idiots think price going to its average, not even its mean. They don't even know the difference between average and mean, right? It's only average is only mean if the thing is normally distributed. Price isn't normally distributed, you fucking idiots. Price is like price is not even log normal. It's it's it's, it's a whole different thing. Uh, but yeah. In a vacuum. I think those are good examples of mean reversion in kind of this perfect theory. You know how they talk about, he's talking about like values of VIX? He goes like, oh, this, because he thinks it's like the literal mean of. Framework. When you have the market and you have positive drift and you have equity risk premium, you have to allow the mean to move higher. You see, words, words, words. Equity risk, what the fuck are you talking about? What does that have to do with anything? Over time. If you don't, it's simply. Measure. You, you, you can, we can factor the positive drift all out. Like, the mean to which you are reverting can be the risk rate adjusted future mean. That's fine. It's still not there. Well, no, it's absolutely there. It's absolutely there because the market, you know, it's up 50, down 50, up 50, down 50. I mean, those are, yes, of course, it's going to decline rapidly. But what about, here's a more realistic scenario. Like perturbing summers, fall and friends. I mean, these aren't even my ideas. These are some of the finest titans of yesteryear. I mean, based on like 1926 data, right? 1926 data, stock prices are derived from expected future dividends, right? So they can't really get away from fundamental values. So if the business is not fundamentally changed, then its stock price is going to sort of return return to like the fundamental values. In contemporary finance, stock prices are primar primarily derived from the expected degree to which you can sell them in the future. So their own value is their own value, right? The efficient market hypothesis says that the current price is the expected future price, not the mean of past prices. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'll, I'll just yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. So, so I think he even just self-reported mean of last prices. What's the distribution, Jacob? I'm pretty sure you're talking about average, and you don't know the difference between average and mean. Oh my God. Like, PhD from the University of Chicago. Honestly, less than the 1926 data, because I actually think that markets in 1926 are, I think, more are not as completely different than markets today. At the end of the day, you had the 1920s, which saw completely divergent stock prices from fundamental values, and we know that. So we see things today. And like you know, there's a book called Blink. It's, it's, it tells you how it sort of explains how like why your gut feeling is always right. Okay, so look at them. Look at it, every single one of them. If they're so great, if they know some shit, why do they need a salary from Tasty Dre who still look like bums? Okay, I on average, I'm making $250,000 a day. Um, if you looked at me, uh, you'd know, right? If you looked at the, the e whore I paid for, you, you'd know, a million plus. I, I wanna see Jacob TTS 100K a day to someone. He knows so much, right? <laughs> Tom, Tom couldn't even do it. No. Characteristics, but I think the key point is, is that financial markets are, can't be completely reductionist. For the well, is finance not about making money? Who here looks rich? <laughs> the guy with the wig? Or well, these the, three fucking like bums? Says, the rich guy's wearing sweatpants and driving a Lambo. <laughs> right, right, right. Exactly. Yeah, exactly, bro. Yeah. Exactly. The perspective of ignoring all human nature, right? If you have human nature where it says, listen, if you have a financial panic, fear will spike. If fear will spike at some point, it comes down. That has to factor into prices themselves because they're not random. The mathematical person says, oh, fear, and it price isn't random. And this literally, this cocksucker, I forget when disease is like, again, another Harvard, Harvard, whatever, Epstein shit. And then, you know what's going on, bro? Like, you know how people are upset about what, like, the, the amount of leeway that black people are getting? Like, it, it came out in the Harvard lawsuit that like uh, more than 50% of ap black applicants were getting in. So if your odds are b is better than a coin toss, like what's the value of Harvard? You should see, right? you should see the S&P. So, so, no, 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 but, 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 but happened to the Jews is the same thing. They were like, oh, Jews had a bad time. So here, get into all the good universities and shit and all the dumb Americans go like, oh, Jews are so smart. Then how come they fucking have 11 gold in IOI, there's a kid who has fucking nine, and uh, Shet Holy Rain has 33. We don't, we don't, we're not even allowed to go to most of the contests, right? They only win when people vote. Like you, we model things after like normal distributions because it's the best we got. But we know that there's 
He just he 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 literally just said we we model things after normal distribution because it's the best we got. That's all. Yeah, if you're in high school. Yeah. yeah, if you're in high school. We're dealing with humans, capital constraints, economic conditions, well, like, it, it's not in the vacuum. And I think if you have humans interacting in the marketplace, you cannot discount the fact that mean reversion exists to any extent. Now, if the market's in the range, let's say the S&P's had an all-time high, actually, where they are right now, I think the evidence for mean reversion on a daily basis is fairly insignificant. It doesn't matter from a retail perspective. It doesn't even matter if you're a long-term investor. But if you have something like a 2008, a 2020, I don't think anybody in March of 2020 would say there's a larger probability of the market going lower than there is higher. And we saw calls to you in the market. This cocksucker doesn't even know. Like, it's not, he goes like, there would, there, no one would say, the market has a prob higher probability. It's not what people say. Measure it in some fashion. Whether it's Markov chains, it's mar it's high, whatever the fuck. There's 10 million ways of doing it. It's not what people say. <laughs> One of the first times in 2020 exhibiting the exact structure. So I think it depends on the context, but I think it extremes. I think I think it's a I think it's, I, mean, I, 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 think I need to jump in just for a second. I, I think you guys are all confused. I, I'm not sure how you're using the term or, or how you're basing the term mean reversion. You, you're just talking about market cyclicality, the idea of up and down and down one day and up the next. They love this. They love this. He says market cyclicality. Mark again. Market cyclicality is a thing that if you show if you see mathematical evidence of it, then it's there. It, it's not like there they do this with correlation all the time another thing we should do talk about correlation i'm gonna embarrass every second every, how many times have you heard i don't know anyone anywhere talk about correlation of assets and th those are more people who don't understand the difference between average and mean uh, we should talk about that because like uh taleb is a is even a fucking idiot Next day. That's not mean reversion. Mean so reversion. Is mean reversion? Give, give, give me a clear definition, either you or Jacob. No, no, you're the affirmative. I was willing to grant you any definition you want. They can both respect the market hypothesis and actually contain any content. And you went with the contain no content choice, um, which I guess no, no, no. I mean, I'll take fine. Then strike down my definition. All right. Well, so if you, you want your definition to be that there's an increased probability following an event of the reverse event. To some degree, yes. In fact, it, it, doesn't, it does not stay static. That's, I think, a better definition. I don't think. But, right, you, so, but, how does this respect the efficient market hypothesis? Right. If this were true, isn't there an immediate arbitrage? Isn't every up move an arbitrage to follow to, to, to shorten every down move? In a vacuum. Long in a vacuum. But we know vacuums don't exist. Yeah. I, I think we're still. I think we're still arguing over. I think you're looking at this, both all of you, from a very short-term perspective, and you're just looking at very normal, like random cyclicality in the marketplace, and and mistaking that for mean reversion. Mean reversion in price, the way we refer to it, is we have to look at mean reversion in price the same way we look at mean reversion in implied volatility. When implied volatility gets really rich, we assume that it's going to at some point revert back to its mean. When it gets really cheap, we assume at some point we don't know when it's going to revert back to its mean. It doesn't work that way with respect to price. Asset prices do not necessarily have to come back to some level that they were at prior. It just doesn't. There is no evidence that any of it works that way. Yeah. So I disagree with that. I disagree with that vehemently. So Jacob, if you would like a bit more contact and more and more uh, more context and substance behind my definition. That that is, that is what I they all they they all think it's literal mean and then they think mean is average like i don't literally bro like listening to ledger is better than this what i'm what i'm yeah, affirming, sorry, uh, affirming that, that you know right as the prices when they become cheap that they will i know you want to talk about something else yeah, you guys see you guys see what i'm talking about i'm getting cancer i think that was enough yeah fuck it I fuck think it that was yeah enough. Um, here, yeah, just I made my point. Right, right, right. Okay, all right. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna stop the screen share. Right. Yeah, I think I think that was plenty. Um, I think we got our yeah. point across. Um, do you want to talk about moments, or do you want to talk about? Uh, moments? you talk for a little bit. I was just eating some fucking what are these like cheddar low fish things, and I got like it's all over my face. I'm gonna drink some water down it. I'm, like it was the time. We'll, we'll do more. Ah, you motherfucker. We'll do more. All right. Uh, do people have questions? Uh, hold on. Let me let me do the stop the screen share. No, nah, they just um, well, Lamau. Did they did they bail? Uh, hold on. Let me see what's going on. We got a few people in here. Siam's in here. Jerry's in here. Obviously, Inkosh. I don't know who the fuck this is. Lane. What's up, Lane? Yeah, I think I think let's let's go over the Greeks first. Uh, just to like. I mean, hello. Was, Sorry. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. What were you saying? I I, I was muted. Let's do the what? Greeks. Let's do the Greeks first. There's a few people in here, but they didn't really have any questions. Um, okay, Greeks. All right. I, I don't think the Greeks matter for a new. It, 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 okay. So the point, the whole point of why you should trade options, right, is that at least uh, what I showed with that thing. That again, why am I discovering it and not like pros? It's the whole. Uh, they're like, I, and again, how many people? Hold stock uh, or spot uh, without optimal leverage, and and a stock is never fucking worth the risk, because how many stocks go up a hundred percent to have m more than fair gain, uh, right? Uh, if you have a coin that's fifty fifty, and you win one, uh, and you uh, for betting one, and you lose one for betting one, uh, right? Uh, 
the stock is 50 50 up and down. Do you win one when it goes up? You fucking idiot. You don't. You need leverage. And optimal leverage is absolute mu divided by the variance, you fucking morons. I'm the only person who has to fucking say this. All these people with billions, bro. That minute who I killed with my words, $120 billion assets under management. And he's on Bloomberg talking about, oh, uh, you plebs look at fucking velocity. We look at the second derivative, uh, acceleration up. Hey, 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 cunt face. Uh, you see how prices jagged? The mere fact that it's jagged, you cunt face, means that it's not Newtonian. When you throw something, you fucking idiot. Is it a smooth curve or is jagged? What velocity? It's a distribution. He has a hundred. I killed him, luckily. Uh, go, uh, Bloomberg says sudden death. I shit on him on fucking Friday. By Monday, he was fucking dead. And uh, that's why. Because when you show people that these cocksuckers don't even know the most basic thing, they go like, well, what? what? The whole scam is like, you're dumb. Give me your money. I'll charge 5% fee. That's how I make my money. And 20% carry in case you make money. And then if I lose money for you and or don't even beat any index or whatever, still, it's all good. I still get 5%. Yeah, I still right. get my fee. But right. Answer, and, and that's... That answered yeah. Cody's question before. Who gives a fuck about Cody's questions yeah, between you? <laughs> well, you said let's answer some questions. That was I'm like, kidding, man. I'm kidding. Cody's, Cody's uh, MVP lately. Yeah, I don't know what I asked him. I'm like, did you hit your head or something? What happened? <laughs> it's proximity to Ankh, clearly, you know? Yeah. No, this is how these, uh, ba- yeah, okay. I'm not going to get into it. All right. What were you saying, bro? No. But, but I... what, why does he care? Why does he care about the fucking Greeks, bro? Okay. So with everything, even if you're doing like earnings plays, right? Uh, you got to do statistics. You have to have expected value, then go, oh, their estimate for what's going to be beat. Uh, is gonna... Don't fucking do that. You don't need to do that. It, I, I explained how I'm making $250,000 on average daily. With Did you see my gains? What was it? 80,000%? Mm-hmm. Why are you doing anything else? Am I, am I worried about these things? I, I literally, in the airport in Dallas, was doing it. I expl- all right, I'm going to explain again. All right? Okay. I'm going to give you an example. So, like... Um, so the whole thing about uh, trading, uh, why you should trade options is because equity options have 100 multiple. Every option is, represent, is, is for 100 shares. So then, then that sort of is like leverage. So at least it's not optimal leverage, but at least you're not fucking trading spot. Where, where ne- if, if a price of a thing in the next candle goes up by more than 100%, that's when you should buy it. How many fucking things do that? None, right? Yeah, okay. Coins. So no, no, but like in one candle, right? I'm saying not even like, Right, 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 right. right. So, so they're, they're bro, and, and like, how do you, how do you not get this? How, how many people do? It's a trillion dollar industry. I'm the first. You ever heard anybody else mention this goddamn? Like, they even talk about Kelly. Fucking Jacob talks about Kelly, but the idiot doesn't know like what to plug in. The fuck face. Anyway, all right. What was I talking about? Okay. So, all right. It's embarrassing that I figured this shit out fucking three weeks ago, four weeks ago after ten years of doing this. But like, okay. The whole idea is this. When covered calls and like Tone Ray's one time, like because I was tormenting him, he did the cover call and he was like, I'm gonna do this for the rest of my life. Like the idiots think it. And there's a bunch of scammers all over, like Cora even. Uh, income, income from covered calls, you know, weekly income from covered calls. Right, right. So the idea is uh, if you have 100 shares of something, you can put that up as collateral and sell a call against it. So they, they don't need to put more money in. So I either have call uh, shares. And you know, so like, and the only time that's bad for you is if that like, uh, say the stock price is 100, you go sell a call at 150. If the price goes to 160, then you're like uh, maxing out your profits. You're capping your profits, right? Man, but like, uh, that, that, that's the only fucking thing. So, and, and like, uh, the, if it gets into the money, the person can exercise. You, they, they take 100 shares from you, but at the strike price. It's not like you get liquid and lose it all. And then you have to buy those shares at like a higher price. You lose a little bit more money. But whatever. Because it's like not that anything that is not risky is not going to have like great reward. Like that's the whole thing about the fair gain of fair loss. Like it, it, the thing about Kelly that's dumb is that like the payoff isn't independent of the probability. There's a, there's a fair gain of payoff 
And then if some retard is offering you more, take the fucking bet. It's very simple. Okay. Uh, all right. So, so, so anyway, it's the whole thing that B is one over P minus one. And I literally fucking had to figure that out because I'm, I'm suing my best friend from high school for a minimum $25 million. And I'm in bed trying to think, well, how much uh, should I do? And I'm like, oh, well, there got to be a way of figuring this out. And it's this. And, and, and literally, it, it's third grade math. It's on our server you can come look at. So anyway, um, what was I talking about? Okay, okay, okay. So, so right, right, right. So, so let's say you go uh, buy uh, forty thousand dollars in TQQ stock, right? It gives you something. Let's say uh, I don't know, I, I forget, uh, hundred, uh, five hundred, something like that shares, right? So you can sell five calls, right? So I'm gonna go look how much of a call is right now, right? But in general, like uh, the whole thing was that, like with with, like I, the number that I because I did it and I was. I have the, I sort of remember the number. It's something like if you spent, I think, 30K buying a stock, you can do, the best you can do is a stack like 380 thetas, right? Uh, you go sell, uh, I don't know, three day, three DT, one DT, whatever. Uh, that, but that, keep that number in mind. Uh, $60,000 to get $300. Uh, every theta is a dollar. So if you have a one theta plus one theta, you lose a dollar a day. Uh, if you have, uh, excuse me, if you have negative one delta, you lose a dollar, you know, if you're positive, you get. So if, uh, so, so for $60,000, uh, let's say 400 savings, right? So it turns out they probably don't fucking say this because they want you to fucking be doing other things, right? Turns out if you go buy a future, you're allowed to sell two calls against it. One future, not a hundred shares, one fucking future, two calls, okay? So 100th the cost, double the thing, so it's 200 times the fucking money. It's thing, because, it's all right? because it's a leverage position, so you're- No, it's because it's completely arbit arbitrary. No, man, it's completely, ar that's CFTC, the other one's SEC. They make up these fucking, like, why two? I, I haven't read the specs of the contract, but how, how does selling two calls against one? It's because like if they, they want you to DJ and shit. If you're wrong, you're gonna lose money, uh, obviously, at two hundred times the rate. But like that that's the whole point. It's it two hundred, right? It's up. It's either up or down, if, right? Uh, so, uh, but it's there. Like if you're good and you think you can fucking win, and, like why do anything else? All right. You could hedge so, the delta. You're just you're just raking it. Listen, bro. Yeah. Li listen, listen. So I go and then what am I doing? I go buy the goddamn NQ, right? During sessions, you get the span margin. So now instead of like 100 to one, now the, whole, the price of the one is at the fourth. Now it's 400 times the fucking money. So, so like an $18,000 NQ contract is $4,000 during the session, right? Uh, so, 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 so then you fucking doing the session, you, you don't wanna have thetas. They eat into your delta, whatever, like pick a fucking side. It's, it's a bet. No, go buy a chick's fucking ass. It, it, it makes zero difference what you go buy because uh, it's a bet, uh, right? It's a 50, like, unless you have, like, it's enough statistical evidence, enough uh, evidence with a statistical significance to, to defy a uh, null no hypothesis. Like, you, you don't know anything. It, nothing you think that matters, it does. So, like, but, but anyway, during the market session, Fucking pick a thing, but bet, I, I'm a DJ. I, I can't be like, oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, price is going up. I, 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 I'm going to not believe my fucking eyes, right? So anyway, uh, overnight, the, 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 the hack is overnight. Overnight, after the market closes, you have an hour to do this. And, and I pro it probably is because it's for this precise reason, just nobody else comes and talks about it because you shouldn't incentivize other people to sell things if you're a seller because the price will go down, okay? <laughs> so uh, why tell people? All right, so after the market's closed, right? And then your spam margin's over. And like now, like if you have, I don't know, let's say $300,000, uh, 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 it suddenly will say you owe them a, a, a million and a half, right? You don't really owe them, you just have to close your position. So what you do is you close your position and then you go sell calls if you're long, right? If you're long NQ, whatever, right? So you sell two calls, right? You don't have to put them in, so you eat up Delta, and then the amount of fucking thetas you get, again, it's like 
it, it's it's it depends on the contract, but like I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna fucking give you exact numbers. It, it, it goes from like you know uh, I'm gonna give you exact numbers. Let me I don't want to fucking bullshit. Hold on one second. All right, so here, right now, if I go, all right, so like um, sixteen hundred call is uh, six hundred twenty dollars. Um, Okay, max loss is infinite. Uh, am I on? Oh, these. Yeah, this is me. This is for one day. Do you want to show your screen? Oh, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me do it. Yeah. I just gotta. Yeah. Yeah. Is this basic enough for you, Cody? He was asking for Greeks and shit. <laughs> I then he he he, he 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 even when he was talking to Lisa, he goes like Black Shoals and the Greeks and the. What are you doing, Cody? <laughs> he thinks like I don't know. he's a guy. He, recently, he's been MVP. I don't want to shut up. Right. All right. No, I just uh, thought it was funny that he was like, "Yeah, let's do some Greeks and shit." And you're like, "Yeah, yeah, let's do it." No, he he thinks I'm sitting here doing fucking rocket science math. No, it's offensive because I'm not. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, 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 you don't fucking need. All right, what am I doing? All right, am I muted here? Nice. Am I uh, hold on? Oh, no, 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 I'm doing a. I'm I'm showing myself. I, I just I just gotta be in front of a mirror jerking off. Hold on one second. Um what was I doing? Oh here. All right. So let's say. Uh so I'm on uh you see E mini Nasdaq futures on the CME, right? I mean one day. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Yeah, we can. Okay, okay. So, so here right, I'm trying to sell a call, right? It's saying I don't have to put anything up. And if I sold this call, I'm gonna get a credit of seven six hundred and fifty uh dollars. But then look at my motherfucking theta. Where is it? Why is it not showing it here? Maybe hit review and send. No, it's it's like it's like because Positive I zoomed was there. in. Wait, go back, go back. Hit X. I'm blind. All right, here I'm blind. Where yeah, is it? Five hundred and four left. Where is it? I don't see it. It's left of delta. Oh, I see it. Okay, okay, okay. Great. Yeah, right. Five hundred and four. You know why? Because the contract is four thousand dollars, right? Let's go for TQQ. Which is leverage? Suck my dick. It's all a fucking scam, man. Look at this. All right, let's go five days. Five days, right? Five days around wherever. I was here, right? Is this real? Is this real life? Okay. So for $2,000, you, you can have two, $2 of profit. You can do this. And your theta is 1.3. You, you make a, a $1.40, $2,000. And I think this is. $2,000 with me being on portfolio margin. So it's probably more. Uh, is this real? Is this, this is insane. This, this, this can't be real because it, it's doing it, it because our positions are, this can't, I, I can't believe this. This, this is too bad, but this is the idea, right? It, it's not that crazy. I, I said $30,000, you get, you get 300 theta. That, that sounds about right, right? Okay. So yeah. Okay. 300, right? Versus like, so they spent $30,000. It's the thing that you said, uh, was epic and you screenshot it, right? And you were like, I don't, I don't care how many times you read it. it, it it's, it's capital efficiency, oh, right? Man. So, right, right. So, 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 okay. Again, let's remember. Uh, 1.3 theta versus, uh, and it makes sense, right? Because like, it's the direct opposite of the personal return, right? When something is priced high, it ain't gonna fucking move. So like your theta's higher. Like it's obvious, right? When you're selling, you don't want the shit to move. So yeah, sell the expensive shit. Like, oh, I have an idea. Yeah, which is better? Selling gummy bears or selling bear berry bags? Sell the expensive shit. Mm -hmm. The fuck? All right, hold on one second. Uh, where's names? I, I don't even know. I really need new glasses. I want, I want to get new glasses. I go like, hey man, can you measure these ones and just make the lens and I want one better friend? They're like, no, legally, only with a prescription. Oh my God. I don't yeah. I, my eyesight's really good, so I'm lucky I don't need glasses. But... No, I, I'm fucking blind. All right, where's name, man? Did, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for names. I want to sort of by name. What did I get with the name? I mean, symbol would be it. Oh, here, here, here. No, I, but I can't see it. it, it it's, it's, I literally can't see it. All right, so uh, what am I doing? Oh, here, and and Q here. All right, so all right. 
one day, right? Uh, 500. Right. Should, should I say more? Right? I, I, and you get two each what? So you get a thousand taters for 500 bucks. You're getting credit. For <laughs> 300. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you're right. Right. And, and they're paying me to fucking sell it. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing, man? What are you doing anything else? Well, explain it because <laughs> the contract is so expensive that that's why you're getting paid. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's like save your money. When you have four thousand dollars, go fucking buy one future and do this, and then you, the, the whole is that when you make money when you sleep. So when you wake up the next day, your bankroll is bigger, and then you start buying more and have it. You said I, I fucking did it in three weeks. This is the warm. I, I posted my shit. Value investor. What? What? Warren can suck my fucking dick, bro. Who, who doesn't talk? Who, who can't see Zoo? It's a fucking re- guy draws circles on price. He gave him six billion dollars to lose. Okay, <laughs> fuck them all, man. I have no respect. That's the thing. Name one person who can fucking talk shit to me. They, they, they don't exist. I, I've dealt with the head of the option trading at Bank of America. It's some jeet. Uh, I, I, I told them uh, they went. They didn't want to. They wouldn't let me take my money out. They were all upset. Oh, whatever. I said, hey, listen. Uh, so it's like that uh, we're astronauts, we have our own rockets, but you dumb fucks tell us to take coach when we want to travel. No, you go buy emerging stock market, you fucking idiot. Uh, I, 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 I have, right, okay, 80,000% returns, right? Suck my fucking dick, trading the NQ, okay, not Pepe coin, dumb cunts. You should do something else. Yeah, right, okay, sure, right. I didn't, okay, and the other brilliant fucking thing is, okay, you go long here, and and again, you have some deltas left because you you get two calls, so it's like two times 40 is 80, so you have 0.2 delta left, right? What do you do then? You fucking go short on the the micros and then sell puts against those. Mm -hmm. It's rocket science. It's so difficult. I got to do black shows and the geometric, suck my dick. The whole thing is that they they'll tell they want to think they want you to think it's so complex that you that you don't do it or if you do it you, you go like I'm gonna just do the other side because the other it's all bullshit all right and I really hope this doesn't go away because I'm having a great time making in the air in Dallas's airport bro I made seven hundred thousand dollars okay like like okay show me one person who does that right ten can't even do it literally like I I, I mean. I mean, this belief that I, 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 I'm not going to say that it, it, it can't be that uh, can we sit, look at the volume or whatever, like, but then you don't know, like, maybe this is why, maybe this is why CFTC is up my ass that I got to register as a large, like, you go to I don't know what the fuck it is. Yeah. Top right, this little gear, top right. Right, right. It's a cap requirements, right? But I don't want people to see my, my like my money. Yeah. Right. No, just, uh, just volume should be. Uh, oh, 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 right, right. To the, what display. to show. I, I think I have everything, right? Uh, right, let me just scroll here. Uh, how does it work? Click on Delta, maybe, and maybe uh, you could switch it. On the uh, oh, oh, I got an idea. Hold on, hold on, hold on, here. It's uh, annoying that you can't. Doesn't, doesn't it have a thing that you can show? Here, here. They'll, they'll fucking TA the option price for you here, the idiots. Right, let me see if this works. Uh, today. I, I, this is the one time that I'm like, who else knows about this? Fucking keep it to yourself. Oh, we're on the goddamn internet, right? That's great. Because, like, <laughs> uh, if everyone's selling, who's going to buy? <laughs> uh, right. So, all right. So, does this show volume? I don't fucking know. DMI. All right. Cool, man. Go cool start. All right. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. I, I don't want to. That's going to That's gonna make me depressed. All right. So, all right. Uh, yeah. You go uh, short thank you, self put. Uh, before the open, and, and you see, the, if you look at the, you got to know the curve. I even fucking told Lux. And I know, and I know this from fucking watching what Christ does. Uh, he, he has them all memorized because uh, that's what, like, if I, like, this, I remember this. I, I went and interviewed for ATI for a job, and this was the question. Hey, uh, make an algo uh, that would, like, uh, be faster, a, a faster multiplication algo. And I was like, what? Uh, you know, so, so I like 20 minutes and the guy's like, you're an idiot. 
uh, answer was, you don't calculate. You, you, you put the answers in a table and you reference. You go, oh, this times this, I'm not going to sit down. If I say, what, what is a thousand times two? The dumbest thing you can do is every time add up a thousand twos and say it's 2,000. You can only one, run one time run, uh, write down the answer and, and look it up every time. And you'll, you'll save time, right? So, <laughs> so uh, yeah. But so it's really, the same thing. The, uh, I guess like what you were saying about what I did, you're just taking it to another level. That was like reverse gamma scalping, which is like, uh, more no, 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 no. My point was that if, if people looked at the curve, yeah. they would arrive at these conclusions themselves. Right. They'll see, oh, this is uh, this is the most steep. This is the like. So if you look at the curve of theta, yeah, the dumbest thing you could do is sell where 45 days because it's so it, there's, there's no slope to it. Uh, right. And then you have 45 fucking days to be wrong. Yeah. Uh, if you have whatever probability a, a day from now. That's it. Right. The second, like, like they don't even know, get how odds work. It, like every, it, they're not. If if a if a coin comes ahead in ninety nine tosses the hundredth time, it's still fifty fifty. Unless you have enough statistics, enough evidence with statistical significance that you can show that the fucking thing is in a random series, you have to you have to like you know it's a novel hypothesis with the run test a million ways. Like they don't fucking know anything. And I think that people who do, bro, they shut the fuck. It's like the Simmons and, and, the, and the, who's the other guy? Uh, who's the computer science guy who's funny, Ben, and everything? Um, Mercers. Uh, they don't talk about it, right? They just well, go fucking take their money. Tacy's and, cope. So, like, Tacy's cope is that they do studies, but, like, that's. Yeah. But it's studies that Dr. Data, they're like, if you have to study, you're dumb. What is there to find? There's nothing to find out. Right. You keep saying it's, it's random, but what are you studying? Oh, right. my machine learned. Well, I called this, right? I'm like, watch the next move. It's going to be my machine learn divergence. No, they like, kill yourself. Say, they literally say, they're like, yeah, my intern put together uh, this study. Right, 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 right. Because yeah. that, yeah, yeah. And the intern needs a salary right. because the market doesn't pay him. Okay. So, so this is for our, uh, Jacob. Jacob, kill yourself uh, in a video game. Your best idea was, oh, the ratio should be uh, theta to delta negative one. Because when uh, you're short premium and then you're, you're, wrong, you're going to be wrong on your Vega, uh, at least your delta gains, uh, because the market's going to dump if uh, volatility goes up. Well, every fucking thing that is going to make you money is, is rock pulled to the upside, you fucking idiot. Uh, is that, oh, negative one theta. I had, uh, I don't know, was it nine? Whatever the fuck amount of futures are, the big ones on, on the uh, CME. I had my size uh, in such a way that my fucking delta to theta ratio was one to a thousand, you fucking bum. Same amount of money. Who cares what, which way the price goes? Volatility goes, you fucking idiot. Oh, market, oh, capital efficiency, as if it's like, yeah, it's good to floss your teeth. It's the, it's, it's the, it's the main thing. It's the, and again, my, the explanation is on Discord. Fucking come join and read it. I'm not going to do you more favors. All right, you should be able to figure it out. I did. No one fucking told me anything. I learned it on the everything that I learned. I learned for free from the fucking internet. That's why I hate people who don't fuck. It's not you're not dumb for not knowing. You're dumb for not wanting to know. Okay. All right. So anyway, I had it anyway. All right. So that's my point. So yeah, this is what you should be doing. Go trade futures. Fuck stocks. Because at least there's leverage. It's not optimal. It's, it's better than fucking one. And then you also get this shit. So what you do, you trade the fucking uh, delta during the session. Pick, pick a direction. You got to you got to risk to have reward. And again, like you can do optimal things. I fucking posted it. Okay. Uh, and then overnight, when nothing's gonna happen, sell premium. Why would you sell premium? When the session's off, well, what if shit, what if, what if, because the idiot said, he goes, hey, if you could sell lottery tickets, how many would you sell? He said, I would sell until my fucking uh, fingers would do it, literally. And it's like, okay, idiot, what if one wins? Like, they're so dumb, right? So, so, yeah, no. Um, yeah, this is what you do. What, 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 you answered another yeah, one of so, these questions there about the, the expiration. If you're shorting, yeah, one day, one day for the bro. Is it is it easier to figure out to make a guess about what's gonna happen tomorrow or 45 days from now? What are people talking about? 
thing. And the way, like, the scaling of a square T, the scaling of other fucking distributions, it's just made up shit. The, 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 better, the best thing you can do with a square T is if T is one, so it's one, so it's, so it's not a bullshit you worry about. It, it, it's all bullshit, Cody. It's, it's all, they have to say things, they have to appear as experts, that's when you go, oh, here's my money, take 5% management fee. I, I'm literally telling you this, right? Okay, so, so, and then these exist here because their shit is, like, their shit is broken, and like, there's two cent left, and it doesn't let me get rid of it. So, anyway, it, this is not what I'm trading, right? So, it, 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 these, and again, what am I doing? I'm long on the main thing, I'm short on the micro, for silver, for NQ, for gold, for Ethereum, for Bitcoin, on what I sell calls, on what I sell puts. My delta goes to nothing, my theta fucking moons. And when it's time I sell it, the, the rate of the, that's what I was saying, this, if you go look at the slope of the t time decay, uh, 45 days is fucking flat. It's fucking a horizontal line. In one day, it's a fucking vertical line, okay? So at night, it starts with, like whatever I posted, was it 30,000? By the open, it's at 100,000 fucking thetas. Please. So wild. What, what else? What else are you doing? Well, what, what, uh, I explain this to fucking, uh, okay, the best math, you, let's say you fucking, you, 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 you're a genius. You, you figure out the best math, right? How are you going to compete with a multiple in front of returns, right? If, if there's a two in front of the fucking returns, right, uh, the initial odds of getting a certain size move for it to be double, it's not like linear, it, it, right? It, it, it's a normal distribution. It insanely goes lower. And then, and then like the other thing is like, yeah, with half the money, if you make the same uh, returns, your, your returns are doubled, but then you have the rest of the money to fucking make an uncorrelated bet and increase your probability of win by, tw by, by two, you fucking moron. I, bro, I'm pissed off that these cunts are pros. Why am I the one who has to figure this out while I'm chilling in fucking Alabama? <laughs> Doing this? Uh, I want to do hood rat shit with my friends. Right. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. See, and, and this is another thing. It says see negative two days because um, they've already expired, but by Monday it will settle. So like, uh, there's a million other things you can do to make it smarter. Like you can, you can when you sell a call, you can make it into a time calendar. You can make, uh, you can buy, like uh, it will just pay you. It'll just, you go buy a long strata, it'll pay you. It'll, you know, it, because that's that that's the math of it. Like the, the, it, 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 the contract works like that. Like if. If you sell two calls for per thing, that now it says uh, you have all this excess credit. And then, like, if you go, and if you, especially if you have portfolio margin, that that's another level of that's fucking habit. Be, be, because uh, they go like, oh, because you have a risk model, right? whatever the fuck they, and their risk model is fucking idiotic. They, they do beta of of of, uh, of uh, three hundred day. Like they're just idiots. And, and like, uh, it just sucks. It just sucks that like uh, we, we're so mad at Kong, we should be madder at them because we invested more in what they said. And every fucking thing they said was wrong. They're no different than crap, right? Uh, all right, so anyway, it's very simple what I'm doing. I said it many times. Uh, I said to Idea, you, you don't need a fucking chart. You don't need to indicators. I said this, go long, right? Make sense? Long the futures, instead of 100 shares, you need one future. Short the futures with the micros. Right, right. That's it, man. At night, sell premium. Like open, close it because shit moves. You're, like if you want to get into the Greeks, when you sell premium, you're short volatility. Uh, um, uh, right, depending on like what so, what you sold, you could be long or short delta. If you if you sold the put, you're long delta. Uh, your your positive time decay. And uh, your, your gamma depends, uh, right? So, uh, but it's like, it's, so gamma is really like historical volatility, Vegas is like implied volatility, right? That's how you should think about it. Mm -hmm. So gamma of like what, what the shit's gonna expire very soon is high, when it's out, it's low, because, because majority of the value of the option comes from like the, the, the thing that's all intrinsic, like whatever, it's like, it's like people's uh, imagination. They get, like if you have a, if you're long way out, implied is always going to be more like you think about. It. Like implied, what people are going to imagine 
is going to be more than what real eyes are currently. Like, whatever. If you like, the, the, the math thing is only there to confuse you. Really, it, it's very simple. So uh, just think about like, in, literally think about like if if you were in the business of like being a marketer, like how would it make sense, right? And you literally can do it. It's like you, you, you decide that that's the disservice that they did. That you, you need to be Jacob to be able to hack this. And Jacob doesn't hack it. Look at Jacob's clothes. Oh, I'm dying to see the, the cock he's sucking or getting fucked by. Uh, oh, it's, it's definitely uh, Enrique Iglesias type level, right? Yeah. No, I don't think so. So it's because he's poor. Right. And, and he's only poor because he's fucking dumb. Uh, they all been doing this for way longer than I have. And, and they went to school for this and all that. Anyway, all right, this is it. It's very simple. Like I don't, right? I don't know what else to say no about one, this. No so, one's even said a single question. So they either right because there's nothing. There's nothing of fucking like it, it, this is it. This is there's not. How else? Please tell me. How else can you make eighty eight thousand percent returns trading the uh, Nasdaq, not Pepe Coin? Who told us this? Spent six years doing other shit. How are you not like pissed off? You know, all right. Not you. I mean, like all of us. All right. All right. I, I'm, I'm, I'm freaking out that I'm not on my VPN. Can I stop this? Yeah, uh, so I can uh, go back on my VPN. Yeah. All right. And you should talk about the, the economics and the, the, the thing. Uh, give me a break. I, I'm gonna <laughs> drink some water. I don't even know if I can follow up on that. That was fucking crazy. Oh my god. That was just insane. Um, I can't believe no one even said any questions. That was honestly my question. I want to see how he does this on stream. Yeah, it's it's crazy shit. Um, I don't know if you really trade on brokers much, but they give you buying power for more or less quote unquote hedging risk. Um, and then he's just taking advantage of that by you know milking the theta on it. Um, and then like Inkosh's question was, well, how much? When do I sell this, that, the other? Uh, when you get the most theta is the highest return. It's the most you know best use of your capital uh fuck man i don't even know what to even say uh shit there was a really good arthur hayes medium not that i agree with what he said but i thought it was very interesting um i'm just gonna close out these tabs i guess he's just going to get water so i'll just rant for a little bit uh this article from uh, zero hedge, uh, whether you agree with their fucking Russian propaganda or not, I mean, this is facts is facts. This is the U.S. leading indicators. Um, I'll show you where you can actually get the data. U.S. leading indicator. Oops. Indicator. So this is uh, the conference board.org. Uh, more or less, this is just uh, blah, blah, blah. The leading economic index. It provides an early indication of significant turning points in the business cycle and where the economy is headed in the near term. Uh, so this index provides an indication of the current state of the economy, blah, blah, blah. All right. So this is just data pulled from their website. The conference boards, uh, we're just going to call this the LEI. I'm not going to say it every time. Continued its decline in October, dropping 0.8% month over month. Uh, it was expected to climb 07 So the biggest positive contributor to the leading index was building permits at 003 That's fucking nothing. The biggest negative contributor was ISMN new orders and average consumer expectations this is really bad uh at 0.22 negative 0.22 19th month straight decline in the lei the longest streak since lehman that's crazy from june 2007 to april 08 um so this is the streak that we're on now more or less basically oh wait it's going the other way april all the way to october and this includes stuff like i mean uh, basically just stock prices all the way to jobless claims, um, average work week. I think there was hours in here, or I guess that is the hours. Uh, building permits, leading credit index, and then, like I said, consumer expectations. And it's 6th and 12th month growth rates also held negative territory in October. Um, among the LEI, uh, deteriorating consumers' expectations for business conditions, lower ISM index of new orders, falling equities, tightening credit conditions. Is that Bali? Oh, he's... I've been in this call for myself more than three minutes. That's nice. After a pause in September, the LEI resumed signaling recession in the near term. Right here. Okay, so... 
but, but, but the conference board expects elevated inflation, high interest rates, and contracted consumer spending due to depleted pandemic savings, which we went over last week. And then this, we also went over the student loan repayments start again, mandatory, tip the economy into a very short recession. Uh, so they forecast real GDP will expand by 0.8% in 2024. But despite the soft landing hype, LEI is showing no signs of recovering, tumbling back uh, in line with the peak in 2006. Wild shit. This is the graph right here. Chart, sorry. On a year-over-year -year basis, the LEI, LEI is down 6.7... Ah, my God. I'm so tired. 7.6% down 16 months straight. Uh, close to its biggest year-over-year -year drop since 2008 against Lehman. Um, besides, obviously, COVID. That was just like an outlier. <coughs> the annual growth of LEI continues to be negative, but it might have reached a bottom. So basically, it continues to signal a recession within 12 months. Uh, but this is the... Oh, sorry. Is this the cleanest view of the Fed's tightening impact in the economy? And it definitely doesn't look like a soft landing. All right. So we went over this. We went over this. <coughs> this next article, waning U.S. liquidity pressure set to accelerate in 24. Quantit quantitative tightening has been humbling broadly unnoticed in the background through 23, but it will have an accelerated impact next year. While the level of rates fall, the perception of liquidity is going to tighten. Bank reserves, uh, they're going to fall into the second half of 24. Quantitative tightening will have wound down to prevent liquidity stress by, by year end. So basically in this article that are going to go over that the reverse repo balances, I don't know if you guys remember that from 2019 when it spiked up, they're going to hit zero in 2024. <coughs> and bank reserves are going to immediately fall. QT likely ends around the end of 24, long after the Fed has started to cut. And then the Fed could be a, a supplier of liquidity through the permanent repo facility by year end. So this is the first part, that the repo balance is going to hit zero by 24. There's no shortage of challenges on the horizon for the U.S. markets. <coughs> In 24, the Treasury market has been struggling with liquidity, mostly getting its size. This is typical, basically, uh, when there's an, inje an injection of impactful wrong way direction. Let me get some water, one sec. Oh yeah, much better. <coughs> a gear switch from rate hiking to cutting. It usually generates jumpy price action. Uh, so this is a source of volatility exacerbated by a repo market that has been better, that has seen better days in terms of type, size and liquidity. Bonds, tailored auctions, and especially longer tenors are another 2023 20, feature that could persist in 24. The fiscal deficit originated supply pressure is also impactful here, making the market a tad skittish even as the pendulum swin switches to a rate cutting bias. I don't know about that, but we'll see. Just because, I mean, the Fed has really been signaling they want to keep it higher uh, for longer. The ongoing withdrawal of excess liquidity from the money market is also important to note. So the genesis of this is ongoing QT as the Federal Reserve continues to allow uh, $95 billion to fall off the curve and off their balance sheet. This is a significant manifestation, uh, or sorry, the most significant manifestation is to be seen in the fall in idle market cash going back onto the Fed repo facility. So that peaked around $2.5 trillion. Right now it's just below $1. Uh, but that was just like more or less by the, uh, the rebuild in the Treasury cash balances. The bottom line here is that these reverse repo balances will head at zero, signaling a virtual end to excess liquidity, which obviously is going to spell bad news for just about everything. QT, this is pretty much what we just went over. Yeah, that was pretty good. I think we can move on to the next one. Uh, I guess we'll just go over the Greeks really quick. I know he fucking just jumped right over them, but in coach want to do it, so we'll do it. There's basically a, a few main Greeks, Delta, Gamma, Theta, Vega, and Rho. Uh, but pretty much these are the most important ones most of the time. Interest rates don't really change that often, so it's not really going to affect the price of the option that often. Delta is just directional exposure. Um, this helps you gauge the likelihood of an, ex of an option expire in the money. So if it's a 30 Delta call, it's got 30% chance of expiring in the money. If it's a 2 Delta call, it's got a 2% chance. Uh, that would not really be the best one to buy or sell, though in my opinion, two delta. So gamma, like he was saying, this is like kind of the, the historical volatility of an option. 
uh, okay, so this can help you estimate how much delta might change if the stock price changes. It's basically the rate of change of delta. Theta, time exposure, uh, can help you measure how much value an option might lose each day as it approaches expiration. If you're positive theta, you're collecting. So if you've got $100,000 theta, collecting 100 grand a day, literally doing nothing. It obviously, the vice versa, if you're short. Uh, Vega, which can help you understand how sensitive an option might be to large price swings in the underlying stock, but this is more related to IV, not so much historical volatility. But if volatility spikes, Vega's gonna move. And then, like I said, this is just interest rates. Uh, they kind of give some options here, but I think this is stuff that you guys can just kind of more or less go over on your own. Um, I think if you guys want, if you have any questions, or otherwise I'll just keep babbling about economic shit. Uh, is the old Z-score Discord still alive? Answered in June, but looks like you migrated to another one. We did migrate to another one. Uh, let me see. I'll share the link. I posted the link last time invite here you go do, do, do. you can have this good brother uh, just don't jump in assuming you know everything this is like I, I, I like I said before this is like extreme alpha compared to anywhere else on the internet so be prepared to you know pay the price as far as Bali goes with the graping Oh, oh shit, we didn't even go over moments yet, bro. I want to do that like two hours ago. Let's do that while I was in Discord. Honestly, fuck that shit, bro. Because you guys could just read that on Discord. I'm not going to go over that. That's stupid. It doesn't really make sense for me to do that. Um, since you're in the Discord now, if you want to read... Uh, what was this guy's name? Let me go back. Oh yeah, no after. We got a custom link now. I don't even know how to say this guy's name. D-M-Y-T-R-O. If you want to read about moments, um, you can go to spaces and I moments right here. It'll go over basically the four uh, moments, uh, which are you know mean, variance, skewness, kurtosis, and then basically how to use this indicator to make you some money. But yeah, that shit's pretty dope. Uh, do, do, do. reading chat sorry i want to have a smoke cool that was asking a question i want to see how it does on stream dope 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 yeah i think we're gonna change the structure of the discord a little bit though like as far as with these new people um maybe have like some kind of holding cell for them until they could kind of work their way into like being like an active member that you know we're cool with that would be more ideal than just having everyone in the same channel where it's just like spewing nonsense and shit i guess <coughs> i guess we can go over a few more uh economic shit while i'm here maybe let's look at um do the bank lending exchange see if the fed has some data on this all right uh senior Oh wait, this is just a survey, what the? Bank reports the toughest loan standard. This is just an article, I guess we could do. This is definitely just gonna be like that same thing. That's from June. That's from May. What will drive bank lending? I'm kind of interested to see. Man, my throat is like so tight. I think I need to end the stream to be honest with you. I don't even think that water helped. No one has, I want to have a smoke bad girl economics. Dude, that is an 18 minute read. Bad girl. Uh, was it Arthur? Like I said, this guy. Uh, uh, like we were saying about Tasty, you have to realize when there's a conflict of interest. So this guy has a very big conflict of interest in the fact that he owns a crypto exchange the same way that Tasty owns a uh, brokerage. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Who cares about all that shit? Bad girl. Sag girl, <laughs> you're such a dirty bad girl. Beat bop, uh huh. You bad girl, you sad girl. Such a dirty bad girl. Beat beat, uh huh. Donna Summer. <laughs> what the fuck is that? 
Alright, who's the baddest bitch in the world? Tay Tay? Nah, she's just a pop star. Christine Lagarde? Nah, she's just a puppet. Not a puppet master. Kamala Harris? Fuck's that. <laughs> baddest bitch in the world, and probably the second in command of Pax Americana, who appears to be a frumpy gnome looking creature. Let's get a let's get a picture going, Jay. She looks like a gremlin, bro. Look at this fucking... Oh, my lord, man. <laughs> Yo, that's gotta be an emoji on the server. Oh, my god. I gotta save this one. Hang on, I'm dead. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. So, I'm talking about Janet Yellen. Uh, bad girl Yellen, if she so pleases, can unilaterally remove individuals, companies, and or whole countries from the dock, from the global... From the dollar global financial system. Okay, given that for most it is essential to have dollars to buy primary energy, oil and that gas, food, blah blah blah. Um, so it's a death sentence to be removed from this. Basically, they call it sanctions. Some call it death sentence. So you got countries like Ukraine, Israel, our our friends basically that are you know in with us that benefit from the system, and you have countries like Iran. Uh, and Russia that are completely on the no-no list that we don't we don't like uh, we don't do business with them for whatever reasons um, politics all that fun stuff oh Binance well, <laughs> that's blue iris bro you didn't sound the same oh my god Stu yeah man check it out um, fuck what was I saying oh yeah with like Iran and shit like it just it's literally like uh, a death sentence basically um it's much harder to grow your, your your country from an economic standpoint when you're banned from trade with, basically, you know, if you want to sell shit, U.S. is the, the country to sell it to. We're the biggest consumer economy in the world. So, like, an example is Bali's dad owns this big car company in Iran, but, you know, obviously that's an even more impressive feat because you can't sell to the United States. I didn't even know Iran made cars. <laughs> From a financial standpoint, she's responsible for rules and regulations that govern how the filthy fiat financial system operates. Since credit makes the world go around, this credit eliminate, ah, sorry, emanates from banks and other financial firms, but will have significant impact on the structure of the global economy. Her most important responsibility is ensuring that the U.S. government is funded. She is called upon to issue debt in a judicious manner when the U.S. government spends more than it earns via taxes. Given the gargantuan size of the recent U.S. government deficits, her role is that much more important. So, all's not good in her universe, in this bad girl world, alright? Her baby daddy, Slow Joe. <laughs> Poop, Mr. Poopy Pants himself, U.S. President, he's behind on his child support payments, alright? So, Slow Joe ain't like your typical deadbeat dad, who blow their paychecks on booze and strippers. Joe's addicted to spending his money by blowing up faraway countries like, uh, you know, Palestine, Russia, who, who fuck cares? I don't, I don't know, some, some sand place. So he never saw a conflict because the empire's war machines shouldn't support. Uh, uh, fight a proxy war in Ukraine versus the evil dictator Putin. Yeah, so this is just politics. Uh, blah, 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 let's go, baby. Support bombardier Bibi Netanyahu in his quest to flatten the Gaza Strip, permanently dis displaced millions, can kill t tens of thousands of Palestinians? Hell yeah, man. Even if said support might lead to a war with the Persians, America. Fuck yeah. America. Fuck yeah. That was a good song. Hell yeah. US of A, baby. Where were we? Bad girl. <coughs> so, Yellen publicly supports her boss, but in private, you know, she, she banging everyone. She's scrambling. She's scrambling to ensure that the empire can issue debt at an affordable price to keep the children fed. Who are the children? You already know. Boomers. Um, so they're getting sick. They're getting old. They need some money. They need some health care. Um, oh, yeah, and then, of course, the military-industrial complex. Um, but the main thing is that interest to rich savers needs to be paid so that promises are kept. So she might be bad, but the market ain't buying it. So, they're saying long-term treasuries are rising faster than short. Um, so, this is what's known as a bear steepener. I'm not going to really go into that. There's not enough time to do that today. So, what's she going to do to please her baby daddy? The same baddie. We're talking about Biden. Who needs to go to back? 
back to the welfare office in November to, re to reapply. <laughs> she needs the engineer's solution that buys time. So basically, <clears throat> her baby daddy, uh, or pimp, whatever you, I don't know, uh, she's trying to hold this up until November, basically. So this is what this is what's on her to-do list. So she's going to inject liquidity so the stocks rise. This is what Arthur Hayes' opinion is, by the way. I don't really necessarily agree with everything. I think this article is just funny as shit. Um, so she's going to inject liquidity into the system so stocks rise. Um, so when stocks pump, capital gains tax rise helps pay some tax bills. Fool the market and think the Fed's cutting rates again. I agree with this point. Remove selling pressure. Um, so basically on these two big to fail banks who are all insolvent due to rates rising. Uh, fool the market and think the Fed is going to cut. I think he fucking say that. That's weird. Uh, well, this creates demand for long-term debt. That was fucking weird. Um, ensure liquidity injection is not so large that the price of oil pops up. So if the price of oil popped up, that would be inflationary, and the Fed would have to cut rates despite all of her efforts. Um, it's There's just a whole lot of 4D fucking narratives going on. Y it's just like, like a word salad, basically. It, it doesn't really mean shit. Uh, there's a tariff in action working. You're throwing... Yeah. Dude, I'm shot. How was the last treasury option successful? I don't, dude, no one fucking cares. Like, they, how was the last treasury option? They've all been fine. There was one that was bad because, the, like, a uh, exchange, uh, I don't know, someone like China hacked into it. And fucking, people would buy up treasuries no matter what. So it's not like, uh, that's not the concern. That's not the concern at all. This is this would be the biggest concern, to be honest with you. If oil goes up, whether war or whatever, that's the biggest concern. Let me take some more water. All right. So at the last meeting, the Fed held uh, interest rates constant. It indicated it would further pause to evaluate the impact of impact uh, the impact of its rate hikes. Yellen indicated that the U.S. Treasury is going to increase the amount of short dated bills. Uh, which is what money mon uh, money market funds use. So MMFs will continue pulling money from the from the reverse repo, buying T bills, which is net liquidity into the market. All right. So he thinks there's going to be a net liquidity injection of a of one trillion dollars, which is the whole size of the reverse repo facility. And then this is going to obviously go into stocks, crypto, gold, uh, other fixed so bonds and shit. All the other central banks are going to print money uh, now that the U.S. conditions have loosened. So they can print money without weakening their currencies, but they can't print the same amount because theirs aren't as strong as the rever the world's reserve currency. All right. So basically, the market believes that the yield curve will bull steepen in the future. Um, so this is going to prevent a market fire sale, basically. Then once this dries up, the reverse repo facility, the treasury market is going to Armageddon, and it'll reassert itself. <coughs> this is this kind of just goes into like how Powell is not really all that, how it's the FOMC. Um, I think we can kind of skip all of this and just go into more or less. This is what I was saying about the fucking bull steepener and shit. It's way too long. Um, I kind of want to just go into. Oh, yeah, this is fucking funny. The war on inflation is over. We won. Um, you just got to exclude food, energy, shelter, and used cars. Uh, everything that, you know, people need, basically. We'll just, yeah. But other than that, inflation's good, guys. It's cool. Um, so he doesn't believe there's going to be a recession because he an, owns an exchange. People make more money on fees um, when it's a bull market because more people buy and generate fees. Um, so we know blah, blah, blah. We know all this shit. I just want to get to his assumptions, more or less, and then I'm going to wrap up the stream because I'm raped right now. I'm fucking raped. Uh, the path forward. He's keeping an eye. Oh, wait. No, is it this one? Oh, this is it. Okay. Okay, so the dumb and smart trades. Considering all the fiat liquidity slashing around the global markets, what should one purchase to outperform the currency displacement? Currency displacement. First, the dumbest thing you do is purchase bonds. Um, I think we all know that inflation is higher than the rates on bonds and treasuries. That's just fucking dumb. Um, obviously, you'll make a return, but it's going to be less than a real rate. 
So a medium smart trade would be go long short term debt with leverage. So that way you'd at least fucking make a real return. Um, but this, and again, this is his opinion. This is my opinion. A trade that's a bit better than the, than the medium smart trade is to go long big tech. Everyone knows that there's a hype with AI um, and that that's the future, sure. Um, two more weeks and AI is going to be the future. This means anything AI related will pump because everyone's buying into it. As I alluded to above, the smartest trade is going long crypto on BitMEX 100x leverage with 30% liquidation fees. This is the smartest trade. <laughs> like, <laughs> the smartest trade is, is doing what we said before. That's that's what my opinion of what Bali said. If you missed it, go back and fucking watch it again. Um, like Long short perps is fucking plug shit, bro. Especially like at that leverage, you're just going to get liquidated. It's stupid. Um, there's nothing else that has outperformed the increase in central bank balance sheets like crypto. Uh, yeah, because it's been in a, a bull market. Uh, they started out trading for fucking pizza. So, yeah. First stop is always Bitcoin. Bitcoin is money and only money. Uh, the next stop is Ether. Because I also offer Ether futures. Uh, there's no XRP. Oh, I'm sure Solana. I'm sure he's got futures for that. Herbs, whatever. Um, all DFs and the respective tokens will pump. This is most fun because this is where you get the 10,000% returns. Of course, you're more likely to get rugged um, because I don't offer perps for this one, so I can't guarantee uh, anything. I love shit coins. Don't ever call me a maxi. I guess I'll just read this last part over here. How is. Oh, wait, this is the same question before. I'm keeping an eye on the net of RDP, TGA, to determine if dollars are flooding the market. So that will determine if I increase the pace of T-bill sales and Bitcoin purchases. Confidence rises alongside an expectation of an increase in dollar liquidity. But I'm going to remain nimble and flexible with my $10 billion SAFU fund in case, whatever, I get raided by the uh, SEC. The best laid plans of mice and men have a tendency to falter. Okay, this is this is this is good shit right here. The ultimate wild card is the price of oil uh, and the Hamas lead Israel war. If Iran is drawn into war, we should consider that there's going to be a disruption of the flow of oil to the over leveraged West. But even though we got our own oil, this is going to be bad news basically if this does happen. <coughs> and obviously, Iran can probably do some real damage. So it then becomes politically difficult for the Fed to pursue a hands-off approach to monetary policy. They're going to have to raise rates to combat this. Um, on the other hand, you could argue that there would be a recession due to the war. I don't know about that. Um, uh, I think the recession would be due to other things due to the war. I think it would just kind of line up timing-wise in higher energy prices, which would give the Fed license to cut rates. In either case, uncertainty rises. The initial response might be a sell-off in Bitcoin might be a sell-off. Yeah, I'm sure Bitcoin's gonna pump during a recession, when everything is correlated during a dump. Uh, did you the chart of the reverse repo? So, anyway. <clears throat> if this reverse repo drawdown is the goal of Magro Yellen, it's only gonna last for a little bit. All the U.S. Treasury markets is uh, concerned because the twos tend the spread basically to scream higher uh, in a bear steepening fashion. And, uh, exert stress upon the financial system is going to return. So, read that one more time. If the reverse repo drawdown is the goal of Yellen, it's only going to last for a little bit. So, all of the treasury market's concerns that cause this spread to scream higher in a bear steepening fashion, and exert stress upon the financial system is going to return. And Yellen hasn't convinced their baby daddy to stop drinking or fornicating, and thus, after a lull, Bitcoin will reassert itself as a real-time scorecard on the health of the... <laughs> oh my god, it's just a word salad, man. These mofas are pricing worse than 1776, and those aren't going up. I think that was it for me, man. I'm pooped. Do you guys have any questions? Or if that's it? All nine of you? I don't even want to stay up this late, man. I'm like... questions I'm gonna leave it up for two more minutes if anyone has a question how price of oil can go up um, I English <laughs> English hard
OPEC cuts production, but price go down. I mean, the thing is, OPEC is like a cartel on it, but there's also supply and demand that really impacts the price of oil, as well as interest rates. So it's not a one side coin, two side coin, whatever. And that's because of weak demand, yeah. So even though OPEC cuts production, the demand is so weak that it's just like fucking dumping. Where's oil at? I'll just look at like US dollars, some stupid shit. Yeah, yeah, oil's dumping. Um, gas is still fucking four dollars a gallon where I am though. So yeah, supply and demand. There's there's so many different factors. No, nah, it's all good. I just just like I'm tired, so it's like that really doesn't make sense to me. Good night, Lena. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it, guys. I don't think Bali came back today. Let's see. Nah, he didn't come back. All right, that's gonna be it for me. I will see you guys next week. We're gonna try. Yeah, interesting read. Yeah, dude seems to be a hype man. A bit about the crypto. Yeah, definitely. Well, like I said, there's a conflict of interest, so yeah, that's for sure. I think that's gonna be it for this stream. I'm gonna try and do it either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday next week. But I'll keep you guys like posted with that. So join the Discord. I'll see you there.